Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Build series. Now today, I've got something pretty different for you guys, um, and it involves the texture pack. Pretty much, a lot of people have been asking me to do the default Minecraft modern house. Now, I hate the default texture pack as a builder. Like, I love using flows and stuff, uh, because it just changes the game so much. But a lot of you don't have access to these, and uh, today, here we go. This is what I've worked out. I um, built a little house. Um, that is easy to follow and uh, looks good in default. You know, it's hard to come up with something that looks good in such a basic pack. Um, but it is fit for swimming pool and stuff. We may not build it exactly how I've done it here. We may change it up to improve it, but it is absolutely fine. So the main materials we're going to want to use first are black stain clay, stone, uh, quartz blocks, and some glass panes. Now, we're going to jump all the way over to about here, I think. Right? And we're going to place one, two, three, leave a gap, and place one two okay so you should have five in total black stained clay blocks now you're gonna place one two three four five six seven eight nine oh no seven eight stone sorry okay so you should have a sea of stone and then your five blocks like so okay now you're gonna have one two three four five six seven perfect now we're gonna just lay all these up <laughs> lay all these up level these up to three okay so they should be three blocks high in total and that is all you're going to want to bring the uh, black stain clay up to at the front of the house okay so now pretty much what you're going to want to do is grab your quartz blocks and we're going to bring all the way along okay all the way along apart from on the stone so one two three four and leaving a let's see should we leave a four block gap here i think so okay so this is what you're going to have so far now we're going to bring it out by one more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, leaving the stone. One, two, three. Okay. Now you're going to bring it up. One, two, three, four, five. And bring it in. Okay. Same with this here. One, two, three, four. So it's five in total. I'm bringing it along until here. Okay. So you should have now space to bring the stone up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and bring it across just like this. Okay, so this is the front of the house um, already. Now, what you're going to want to do is actually bring this out by two more, okay, out the sides. And what we can do is delete this one here, okay? Okay, I'm back. If you hear any like random pauses in the video, it's because my throat is absolutely killing me right now, guys. So recording this really, really hurts. Um, but I wanted to get the video out because I had the idea. Um, so we're going to bring this up um, and fill this in here with the stone. Bring it all the way uh, along the top like this. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so you should have this. Now we're going to fill this in with two blocks also. Now it's a case of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that. Okay, so now you're going to want to fill these in two at the side. Like so. And we're going to go in and get our wooden trap doors. So your wooden trap doors are going to go here. And you're going to place one, two, three. So a three by three square in the window. And you're going to place the trap doors on them like this. You can delete them behind. Because now in 1.9, oh, we need to replace that one. In 1.9, you can make the trapdoors float, which is an amazing feature. Um, something you'd only do with World Edit before. So now you've got that accessibility. Uh, we can do these kind of like window shutters. And we're going to place three by three glass panes. Like that. Now, as you can see, it leaves a little gap. And that is kind of to resemble like the window shutter being pulled across. Um, I just thought it kind of worked and uh, did it look pretty cool. So we're going to keep it. Um, the black stained glass is to, of course, go on top of our door like so, so we can walk under it. And here, what we're going to want to do is put two black stained glass there. Go in ourselves and grab an anvil, wherever they are, boom. And, of course, a sea lantern. Put a sea lantern there and an anvil on top, just like that. So, as you can see, we're going to change the weather to clear. And this is what we've got so far, okay? So, now we're going to work. Uh, on this little bit at the side. So as you can see, we've got a few windows, okay? So we're going to come across and we're going to place, let's see. Have I done it? <laughs> I didn't actually know. So it's it's two, then one, then two, then one, then one. Okay, so we're going to place one column, leave a gap, two, leave a gap of one and place another three up, okay? So you should have this little block 
here. Now you're gonna bring it along one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and bring it up one, two, three, four, and five. Join this up. Of course, you guys know I always work in kind of squares. Um, so pretty much I just build a cube and kind of shape into it. And I think that's the best way to go about these houses, honestly. Um, actually, what we could do is fill in ourselves. Hmm. Take this along. So bring this along and match it to exactly the end of here. Okay, that's what you want to do. It's just matching it up. Bring it up. And this is an example of the like cube shapes that I work in. As you can see, it does work pretty well. So the cube is actually on top and then I kind of just build the shapes into it as you can see. Um, in here, we're going to go and do our sea lantern and anvil trick. Sea lantern, black stained clay on each side. Boom, boom. And an anvil on top. Perfect. And this is actually going to be a doorway entrance and this is just going to be a one, two, three glass block window. Like so. Okay, so now we're going to pretty much work on the bottom here. Okay, and we're going to come, let's see, all the way back here. Is that the block under it? No, this is the block under it. And we're going to place one, two, three, I think. Hmm. Three blocks? I think that'll do. Leave a two block gap, one, two, three. Boom. Okay, so that is what you're going to want to have down at the bottom here um what i also kind of want to do maybe if we get rid of that and get rid of that so you have the two blocks okay and this becomes free so two three and then a four block gap okay so i'm gonna have to do a lot of editing because honestly my throat is just killing me we're gonna delete out the bottom of these and we're gonna do the anvil and a uh, sea lantern um so one two three four sea lanterns one two sea lanterns and uh, then of course the uh black stained clay on either side of that and an anvil along the top so four anvils there and two just there like so okay so now we're going to want to work on this little bit here we're going to build one two across and two there and we're going to have a two block window in the center okay so getting rid of these put in anvils on top this actually gives us our kind of house so we're going to black stained paint this up okay pretty simple stuff just black because I thought I'd put black on the bottom level simply for privacy reasons or privacy depending on how you say it um and yeah I just felt it gives a more kind of enclosed feel but you can kind of still see through it you know um and that for me is kind of what I wanted to go for you know so now we are going to work with our quartz we're going to place them all the way along apart from in this little area here okay we're keeping that out of it um, simply because we're going to have a little overhang, um, which does look pretty cool. So, you're going to leave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks out from that. Okay, we will be putting some stuff there, but for now, it's kind of irrelevant and doesn't need to have anything there. Um, so, we're going to fill all of this in with quartz. Okay, so this is what you should have so far. We're going to grab some stone and we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so now what we can do is actually join this stone up with this stone on this side and actually fill it in with stone. Okay, so the roof isn't actually going to be there. It's going to be on either side of that. Okay, so this kind of just gives some depth into the cube I was talking about. We're going to place one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and we're going to place one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Boom, like so. Okay, and this here is actually going to be a window. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so I just had to wait for a plane to go past my house. Oh my goodness, this tutorial just does not want to happen. Okay, so we're going to place, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, a 3 by 3 of glass. Okay, place the trap doors, of course, like at the front of the house. Delete the blocks behind. And then open up the trap doors and it gives us our shutter effect. Now, three here of panes. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, now we're going to work on the ceiling. So take this across here. Okay, and we're just going to fill it all in with our quartz blocks. Okay, so it's very, very simple. Um, like I said, if you guys actually want to add anything to this and tweet me some pictures, you know, some people do and it's awesome. Um, you guys can actually do that. So if you build the house yourselves, um, you know, and add some features. That's pretty cool. Um, we're going to go and grab some quartz and place one, two, three, four, five, 
and one, two, three, four, five. Okay, pretty sick. And we're also going to place them around here too. Um, so let's see. Boom. That is what you should have. Is this little C shape of stairs going around there like so. Okay, so now we're going to go on the bottom of the house. And we're going to delete all of this in here and turn it to birch wood. So let, let's grab it with that. Um, you can use actually any texture you please. Um, I just use birch because I simply prefer it, you know. Um, it just looks better, I feel. I feel like it looks better. Um, a lot of people would agree with me. Birch is a really nice, like, floor material. It's just light. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. It contrasts between the darks of the modern house um, and the lights too. So it kind of fits somewhere in between and just looks really, really cool. So we're going to do that. Fill it all in. And that actually pretty much completes the exterior and interior of the house. We have a staircase to add. Um, but that's pretty much it for uh, that little part. Okay, so next on the agenda for this house is making the little garage part, um, which the car can go under. So we're going to come a block in and we place one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, pretty simple stuff. And then again on the back, we're going to place one, two, three, four, and five, like so. Okay, now we're going to grab our signs. Now, we're going to place signs on the back of here, okay, like this. Boom. And now this is the little kind of time consuming part. Click, sign, click, sign click sign okay and you're going to do this along all of them and i'm going to try and do it as fast as i can so you're going to want to shift click and place all of these signs now i'm pretty fast at it um still pretty slow but you know in terms of it pretty fast and we're going to place them on the sides of here too if you don't know how to do this honestly just look up like sign physics but honestly it's a shift click i'm gonna leave the mars there i really can't bother to go back and do it Actually, I will. Lazy and it looks bad. Okay, boom. Now, we're going to grab our black stick glass and place one, two, three, like so. And one, two, and three. And quickly change the weather to sun. <laughs> okay, so here on the block in the first stained black block, we're going to place one, two, three, and do that on this side also. Okay, so this is actually the garage kind of complete and it does look pretty sick. I'm going to be honest. So we're going to go in and grab ourselves some stone and some diorite and uh, get working on the driveway. We're going to place one, two, three, four of diorite. Okay. Now we're going to place one, two, three, four of diorite here. And then we're going to jump one, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block, we're going to start placing more diorite. Okay. We're going to bring it one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And we're going to fill all those blocks in just like so. Okay, now we're going to bring it all the way along to the back of the house. All the way. And we're going to match it to that block there. Okay, as you can see, it's the black stained clay. And we're going to take it all the way along. And this is going to be a diorite border of the house okay so it's pretty simple you should have the direct border going and now we're going to work on the swimming pool okay so you're going to jump two blocks here next to the house and place one two three four like so okay pretty simple now you're going to take it along one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay Boom, boom, boom. So it's actually only a four in width swimming pool, which is actually fine if you think about it. Um, it's plenty of space and you're going to delete it down to the bedrock. Okay. And now it's important you go down to the bedrock because we're going to have a two layer pool with a layer on the bottom. Okay. So you're going to have a three in depth pit pretty much. It's kind of just a pit um, at the moment. And we're going to carve into it and work on it from there. So all of this back garden is actually going to be stone. Um, it's kind of a risky choice to have a one material garden. Um, apart from a little bit, we're going to have grass just there. But apart from that, it's only stone really. And apart from the bottom of the swimming pool, which should be snow, I think, um, that will be going there. So placing these corners in for the swimming pool, we're going to fill all of this in with stone on the second layer too. And on the bottom layer, we're going to have snow. Okay, so all of this is going to be stone. Boom, 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 perfect. Now we're going to go in and grab our snow, and let's see. We're going to place all of these bottom levels with snow, okay? So, filling all this in, pretty simple stuff. I don't need to give you measurements, because I gave you measurements for the pool. 
you guys just need to fill this in and we're going to go and grab our water of course and just splash that everywhere i mean it's going to be pretty easy to fill up boom perfect looking absolutely fine um and now we're going to fill in the rest of the garden with stone okay so now this is kind of time consuming you know watching me place blocks if you don't want to skip ahead um you should probably about a minute or so before i finish this just fill it all now. I'll try not to talk as much because it distracts me. I know I talk a lot of shit when I'm doing these let's builds. Boom. We need, do need to leave a little bit for the grass, but I'll kind of leave that out for now. Boom. Okay, so filling all this in with stone. Boom. Stone, 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 stone. So much freaking stone right now. Okay, boom. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this let's build. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, you know, I would appreciate it. I do put a lot of effort into these videos. Trying to come up with concepts, designs, and all of that. Editing and all that stuff. So, you know, likes are very much appreciated. They show your support. And the fact that you uh, are caring about the videos. And all of that good jazz. So, now we're going to work on this little, uh, this little grass bit back here. We're going to place two stone here. Okay, like so. And stone all the way along the back here. And we're just going to leave a little gap, okay? So, it should be the size of the swimming pool, but in grass. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that's 12 blocks in total, I'm pretty sure. One, yeah, 12 blocks of grass just there. In line with the pool, from the top, pretty simple to see. Now, we're going to finish off filling in all of this with stone. Okay, boom. So, we're going to that car engine start. I've had enough stops in this video. I shouldn't really be starting it again. Um, we're going to have uh, spruce wood and birch leaves. And also go in and grab ourselves some birch fence. Um, and we're just going to place this randomly. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. And boom. Perfect. Now, we're going to come to the back here. And we're going to jump in two, right? And we're going to place one, two, three, and four. Okay? And then what we're going to be doing is placing one, of birch leaves two spruce leaves and one birch leaf now you can do this in any kind of order you want i wish you to do it in this order simply because it's uh better for me boom and then you have our little tree just at the side here um and now we're gonna want to go in and grab ourselves some let's see large ferns uh double tall grass um azure bullet white tulip and normal grass i think should do the trick so boom place it there Place some there and place another bit there. And then just kind of spread the rest out, I think. Um, let's see, white tulip, white tulip, and grass there. Perfect. It gives us these little things uh, going here. We could, okay, on this one, I've added like a barbecue and a little set of chairs. I'm not going to do that on this one simply because you guys can see this design. Very, very simple. And the little chairs there. Um, I don't really need to be doing that because, you know, it's not rocket science. <laughs> They're only little chairs. Um, now coming in on the side, we're going to be placing ourselves some staircases. So we need to get ourselves some stairs and we're going to place, let's see, one, two, three, oh, three, and four. Okay. Filling that up and deleting these three here. Okay. Now on the bottoms of here, of course, we're going to place stairs just to make it look a little bit nicer. And then we're going to place one, two, three, four black glass panes okay get rid of that one and raise it up until it hits the roof god i'm so bad at placing these it's ridiculous fill that up and then delete the blocks here to get up the staircase okay so this is what you should have and it looks pretty cool you know um we're also going to grab ourselves some black glass paints here and what you can do is actually uh place some around here like that and you can walk under this block and place some stairs there okay so this is what we've got for the house um and that's pretty much it guys honestly apart from a little bit of landscaping we can do out the front um let's see what we could do is place some uh, a large fern here white tulip and grass there boom like that and then we can go in and grab ourselves some spruce leaves some birch leaves and uh, do the same out the front so boom 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 um Let's see, boom and boom. 
Hmm, perfect. <laughs> Literally, it's just a case of spreading them randomly. Honestly, guys, a lot of people do like get confused about landscaping and how to do it properly. Honestly, there isn't a properly to it or a properly. Um, you just kind of do it and it whatever looks good, you kind of just work with and go with it. Like that, you know, it's very random, but it does work. And that is actually the house complete, guys. Like I said, apart from the barbecue out the front, oh no, out the back, sorry, and the two chairs, this is the house complete. Hopefully, without all the breaks, uh, because of my really, really like sore throat, it hasn't been too hard to follow. And hopefully it looks cool and will look awesome in your Minecraft worlds. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, smack the like button, share with your friends, subscribe for more content just like this. Stay creative. I love you all so much. And I'll see you in my next Minecraft video. See you guys.